What's up guys, it's me your boy Steve right here and in today's video I'm doing top 10 list and this by far just before I started this video I had to pick my top 10 sexiest clones based on the reactions based on the compliments based on their performance and based on their price and also based on how well I like how they smell pretty much I had to do the top 10 sexiest clones that I own and I know there's a lot there out there that are also sexy but I just I don't own them I don't own every clone so what I have here is my personal favorite um, sexiest clones that I have I'll try to explain briefly on why they're in what position this this was definitely the hardest decision I had to make ever for a video this is definitely one that might hurt some of you guys that really like some of these clones but from 10 to number one they're all very close guys and I if you buy number 9 or if you buy number 10 or if you buy number 8, I won't be mad. Like you guys do what you can do what you want cuz any of these are very good choices. That's why they make it in the top 10. So let's just start off. Start off with here we have Pure Malt by Thierry Mugler. Yeah, Pure Malt, Angelman Pure Malt is it's like a fruity, malty. It's like a, sort of has a little bit of that sort of you know alcohol taste but not really it's a very brief alcohol with some fruitness and it also has the angel man DNA in the background when it dries down but not so much uh, with the caramel it's just it's fruits and sort of the angel man uh, DNA from the original and it makes it really smell nice and the reason why this is number 10 is because I have gone compliments of this just that they weren't like astonishing compliments like some of these clones I've got I've gone in for. Some of these clones I've gotten like big compliments like wow I really love you man. Your smell so sexy, you smell so nice. You know, with this one I've had some like you smell good. Oh, I like the way you smell. I like the way you smell. I like your cologne. Um do you mind telling me what it is? Something like that, you know. I'm just trying to kind of reinvent all the compliments I've got with this, but most of them are not like you smell sexy or you smell fine or man i wish my husband smelled like that some of them are just nice you know i like the way you smell and this is pretty much i get a lot of those with this cologne so that's why it's at my number 10. our number nine is also one that i get i got a few um you're sexy and by the way i've had some of these clones for a few months and some of them for like half a year and some of them for a year so it's it's not really that fair but based on my reaction uh, based on their reactions to these some of these clones i uh, have placed them where they are so for number nine is versace eros versace eros vanilla a little bit of freshness and vanilla some citrus too but just creates a nice masterpiece this this might be my favorite versace cologne out there so yeah, Versace Eros is very versatile and it's very nice for the clubs and pretty much I've worn this many times out and I've worn it sometimes to like where um, sometimes to go eat and I've gotten a few compliments walking down the street you know sometimes I've gone like oh you smell nice or you smell you smell sexy oh I like your cologne most of the girls say that I smell nice you smell good so it's not it's not overwhelming compliments not yet at least so Versace Eros is number nine. Oh, and by the way Versace Eros has also very good pr performance but just the compliment factor is what puts it down on a number nine now for number eight I know this this was the number one in my top 10 summer list but for me it doesn't get me too many compliments it just for me, it smells good and it really works for the summer. That's why I liked it a lot um, during the top 10 summer list. But it hasn't gotten me many compliments, guys. And I've I've gone on some compliments, but you know some of them are better than the other. But I never get any compliments on the opening. I always get compliments when it dries down and you know after a few hours. I never get any compliments with the opening, even though sometimes I spray this cologne like 10 minutes before I go somewhere. Uh, this is Aqua Amara. By Bulgari. Yeah, Aquamera is, is like a nice citrusy uh, mandarin orange kind of uh, oceany, you know, just rosy. It's very nice. Longevity on this is very good. And overall, this is a very good cologne. All of these clones are very good, by the way, guys. 
I'm just basing them on the basing them on the compliment factor and also the really good compliment factors like you know some of those girls that knee knee you down and like wanna you know what I mean so Aqua Amara is a very good cologne I've gotten a few compliments that are like wow you smell like the beach or I love the way you smell and sometimes you know they're like damn you smell sexy S something like that the compliment rate is getting higher as we go down next up we have we have this one right here the reason why it's higher than the others, but not as high as how it should be. It's because of the performance. This is CH Men Privé. CH Men Privé. Privé, I love the smell of. I absolutely love the smell of. I don't care what anybody says. Even if I don't get any compliments. I absolutely love the smell. But, the performance is really lacking on this one. But since I love the smell, and I've gotten you know, a good amount of compliments to this cologne, and it smells very sexy, I've put it on the number seven, you know, CH Men Privé. It's a good cologne. I've gotten a few compliments, you know, you smell sexy, but not too overwhelming still. And yeah, CH Men is very nice. I really like this too. And the projection, longevity out of the story because they they're not I get like four hours of this only so it's not that good and that's CH Men Privé now we have this nice teenager cologne this is Abercrombie and Fitch first instinct now this one the performance is better than CH Men Privé but it really I've only really gotten compliments I got a lot of compliments from this during a school day during you know dinner time whatever I've just got a lot of compliments to this one, but the one thing about it is the um, projection. The projection isn't that good in my opinion. It lasts me a good amount of time, uh, a good amount, but the projection, really the only time I get compliments with this is if someone's like hugging me or, you know, give me a kiss on the cheek or something after um, we're saying goodbye or something, I shake somebody's hand and they're like, oh, you smell good, you smell nice. And that's the only time I've gotten a compliment of this. I've only gotten compliments when it's like, this is my face, and this is like somebody else's face. That's how close they are. So, that's the only time I've gotten compliments with Abercrombie and Fitch, First Instinct. But overall, I love the smell of it. That melon top note is very good. Next up, we have Long by Yves Saint, Mer uh, Yves Saint Laurent. A very pleasant, nice smooth cologne and it's just great i love the smell of it it's very relaxing calming pleasing and i usually like this you know when we're getting down to that sleeping time i usually spray this on because it smells like a this could get somebody to sleep this cologne is very relaxing and pleasing but the one thing is the performance is also lacking on this since it's been reformulated performance is not bad it's definitely better than ch men Privé and some other clones but you, you, these other clones here that I have that have already been talked about they, they some of them have good performance but not the good compliments with this I really get good compliments with this like literally sometimes I get I get a hug and they're like they keep their head on my on my shoulder or something they keep their head right here <laughs> literally some of these compliments are not really nice to mention really because some of them are overwhelming compliments but the only thing is the same scenario the same story with Abercrombie and Fitch I only get compliments of this if they're close to me so that's um, loan now moving on to our number four number four is this nice clubbing scent ultra mile by John Bocatier. Ultramal is a very nice clubbing scent. Really peary, sweety, has a nice vibe to it. And when it dries down, it smells similar to the original LML. But most of the, the compliments I've gone with these are during the daytime. And some compliments are really nice, like, oh my god, I love your cologne. Uh, can you can you tell me what it is? And sometimes they're even like young girls, you know, you know what you know the scenario, right? Pretty much. It's just a nice compliment getter. And right now, starting from Ultra Mal onwards, as you go up, the compliments are really high. Pretty much, that's this is where the big boys are gonna come after this one right here. So Ultra Mal, nice peri vanilla, really gets me compliments d during the day. Very, it's very good longevity, very good performance overall. Moving on to my number three. My number three is one clone that isn't very 
liked, it isn't liked very by the, you know, fragrance people out there. This is Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Invictus, it's a very nice, sort of sounds synthetic, but to me, I just love the way it smells. And many girls have told me they love the way it smells, like really. I just love the way it smells too. It's like a bubbly gummy, seawater, a saltwater, marine kind of vibe, and it smells gorgeous and this I bought I got like two months ago I think it was two months ago no I got a month I got this a month and a half ago and you know I've tried it on I tried it on you know the first day I got a compliment the second day I got a compliment the third day I got a compliment I was like what what's going on here the fourth day I got four compliments and I was just like you know what whenever and all the way by the way these were all um school days the fifth day the same girls complimented me and they're like damn Steve always smells good like it's crazy. So basically, yeah, Invictus is so, it's such a gorgeous scent, and it's sort of smells synthetic. I, I can see why people say that. I, I can see why it's disliked. But, you know, sometimes the things that get you compliments, I don't really care how they're, I don't really, I don't really care if it's synthetic or not, because it works. It gets me compliments, and I love it. That's Invictus. Invictus has good uh, longevity, too, and projection. So, Invictus, great. Alright, so now moving on to our number two spot. This one is, I like, I, I really like it. Really, some girls really are very pleased when they smell this. Like, it's crazy. This is Dolce Gabbana, the one, Eau de Parfum. Wow. Like, I cannot. Some of the compliments are too explicit to explain to you guys because I want, I want to make this a nice friendly video. The first time I got this I didn't really like how it smelled but after all the compliments I've gotten with this and I've only got this for three weeks now and literally every time I wear it you know sometimes I might go out sometimes you know I might just walk around and sometimes it might be a close encounter like a party or something and this is really <sighs> some of the compliments let me explain to you guys one compliment real quick now one compliment I've got with this was during a party, I sprayed it on, um, even though it is a winter and fall cologne, I, just, I was testing it out because it was nighttime and whatever. So I tested it out, sprayed, you know, about five or six sprays. As soon as I walked in, you know, I get a little nice handshake, goes on, the party goes on. An hour later, this girl walks by and says, she says to me, um, so I want to tell you something. Just, between me and you. I've been smelling your cologne ever since you walked in here. I really love I really love it and I was too afraid to tell you, but now since you look like you're by yourself, I wanted to tell you that I really love your cologne. And pretty much after I left, I left, right? But like, you know, this is <laughs> This was kind of weird because I was about to leave. She was, you know, that that girl was still in there and she was, she didn't look like she was going to leave at all. But you know, as soon as I was saying goodbye, I was like going to leave. Bye bye. I see her. She's starting to leave too. I was like, what? Wasn't she just like, like sitting down and relaxed? Now she wants to leave. You know, I, I left and I see this girl behind me, like following me. It's freaking, it was, it got a little bit, it got a little bit crazy. But just from that experience by itself, even though it was very weird, but this this clone can really do that. Like, I mean, I'm not saying everyone's gonna get followed if you guys put this on, but I'm just saying it's a very nice clone that girl, some girls really love. So good. Whew, that's my number two. You can only expect what's gonna happen to the number one because I have a good story for the number one. And number one is actually a tie. And I know it should be one or the other, but both of these clones are very good you know very good this is let's start off with i have two right here and this is dior savage obviously you, you, come on guys like if the dior savage is not on a list anymore if dior savage is not on a top 10 sexy list i don't know what you guys are thinking because even though this is like not is very popular and hated and you know people don't some people don't like it just got you gotta appreciate the smell because you know i i've not only just like wore this clone i sometimes even asked people I've sometimes asked a girl if she likes the way it smells. I don't think of, I've asked like 20, 25 girls maybe? 25 girls, and I don't think one of them says they don't like the way it smells. But based off that, like, you can't go wrong with this Dior Sauvage clone. The one thing is that I don't really like about it now is that it's getting too damn popular. So that's the problem with this because I, um, you know, it's, it's a little too crazy now because even sometimes when I'm walking down the street, I could smell some clone and when I get closer, it's like, you're so much. I'm, I'm so surprised on how 
well this clone is done because everybody has this clone it's ridiculous but i really love this way the way it smells and the compliments i've gotten are crazy but this other clone i have here it's a sample <laughs> a marked reflection man so the first time I smelt it, I, I really liked it, but I thought it wouldn't work for a man because it's way, it's very floral. I love the way it smells, but the first time I smelt it, it was very floral. I liked the way it smelt, but I, I thought that it's too light for a guy. It maybe is better for a girl. So as you can tell, this is a vial, so you don't get many uses. So I, I used it once. And I haven't used it ever since. I used it once and I've gone the most ridiculous compliment ever. Like, so this wasn't, this was, I was walking down with a few friends down this, down to uh, go eat somewhere. These like teenager girls, like maybe the same age as me, they came, they, they were walking down and then they walked, one of them walked past me because I wasn't like, it was a pretty tight curb. And one of them walked by and she turned around and she was like, damn, what is that cologne you have on? And I was like, it's, I'm Mark Reflection, man. She was like, what? What? I need to tell my boyfriend right now that he needs to get this cologne because it smells gorgeous on you. And I was like, yeah, you should. So apparently after we went to eat, um, they were like still kind of in that area. So when we were walking back to the car, they see us again. And, and then the same girl, she was like, oh, hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. So, you know, we talked and then she purchased this cologne. She purchased it like right there from her phone. She bought the cologne off her phone. She got it for like, what, this cologne's like 180, I think, 170. I would actually get this cologne too, but I haven't got it yet. But this girl literally ordered the cologne for her boyfriend right after she smelled it on me. She doesn't even know what it looks like, whatever. It's just boop, 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 and ordered straight away. I don't know if she was rich or she what was she doing? She must have been over drunk, but so she ordered it, right? And then she and her friends requested it to come with us, you know, come with us wherever we're going because she couldn't get enough of that smell. She was like, she couldn't get enough of the smell. So she stayed with me and it was kind of awkward because <laughs> that whole time <laughs> she was on my freaking sh shoulder smelling. She was smelling my shoulder pretty much. It was, it was a nice experience. And I can't, kind um, I don't know if she's watching this video or the guy's watching this video, but the guy's watching this video, I gotta watch my back because some things went down, you know? You know what I mean? Wink, wink. Yeah, I think she must have gone the clone by now. And this clone is terrific. And that's pretty much it guys for my top 10 sexiest clones slash compliments. And I, you know, I want to get more clones and test them out, but so far, the ones I have here all work out fine for me. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, click the like button below. I know this has been a long video. I know this, this also has been a funny video too, I hope. Or weird, or funny. I don't know how, what you guys think, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, and peace.